time to open up this thing. I have been looking forward to this. The crabs are in here. friends and family how are we doing today so this is how I'm keeping my freezer closed now because it's broken I like to think I'm pretty good at figuring out how to fix things I once took a piano apart and put it back together without knowing anything about pianos and fixed it so this one baffled me can't figure out how to keep it closed so we're using tape gonna have to get a new freezer today and I just took this out as an example so now I gotta put it back So hopefully getting a new fridge today. Um, also on the agenda, we're going to, oh, we're gonna open that up. That should be exciting. And then I suppose we'll probably come back, pop in on the snakes, maybe see how uh, Junior's doing and, hey, welcome to the day, guys. Welcome, I hope you guys are having a great start to your day. On the move, as usual, we are going for a field trip for Noah's school. Hey Noah, where are we going? I'm going to the History Museum at my school. Oh, cool. In Morro Bay. In Morro Bay. And Daddy Eli said he wanted that dinosaur fossil from at Science Day. Okay, well we're just going to leave it there. Y'all buckled in, Eli? Uh -huh. You guys all buckled in, ready to go? Mm-hmm. Alright folks, let's see if we can find some cool stuff at the History Museum. Rhinos, Daddy. You want to see tiny baby rhinos? Daddy? How big are wino eggs? I forgot I rolled my ankle yesterday. I just reminded myself that's gonna make for a fun challenge getting the refrigerator up the stairs later. Well, you're you staying with us. I'm going down. You're staying with us. Okay. We're not gonna leave you. We're stopping here. I like this. I can see the Morro Bay Rock. That way over there is a Morro Bay Walk. It would take an hour for us to get over to a Morro Bay Walk. Uh, if we're walking, maybe. Yeah. Great view up here, that's for sure. Nice. What do you think? Is that you think that's the History Museum down there, Noah? Yes, Whoa. <laughs> Don't yeah. sprain another ankle. Let's go. Don't sprain. Look out, I am going to jump. Watch them me. Nice. I like this place. Oh. Look at the size of that whale jaw, guys. That's a whale's jaw. That's a whale bone. That's a big whale's jaw. It's big, huge, right? What right. is that one? It's a whale bone, Eli. That's a whale's jaw. Yeah. It's a whale. That's a whale's mouth. That right there is a um, whale's tooth. It's a mouth, it's the bottom jaw. It's this part of your face right here. And what's that right over there? That's like the back of its jaw, it's like back in here. Oh. Well, it was a beautiful day in Morro Bay. I almost want to stay outside and not go inside the History Museum, but... Yeah, yeah, hey, no, you want to stay inside or you want to go try and find your classmates? Yeah, yeah, I want to go try and find my class. I like you hold my hand. It's good for you to hold my hand. To break you and wait you and wait you. Oh, bud, you okay? Come here, let me touch you. Brush your, brush your knee. Brush your knee quick. Grab it. You okay? Yeah. Good tough guy.
I can tell these guys were like, we need better than this. I mean, it's cool, they have lots of stuff you can put your hands on and move and whoa, but this is this is more their speed. They need to get and their I hands. And I saw a crab. You saw a crab, yeah. You I see. found one. <laughs> this is definitely more their speed. I knew they weren't gonna last too long before they were like, let's just go down to the beach. And this is pretty cool down here. I've never been to this little section of the beach on Morro Bay, so. I'm also glad I'm out walking on my ankle because this morning I, I stepped on it, I could yeah. hardly, you know, I couldn't hardly put weight on it. Yeah. Now it's feeling like it's loosening up now that I'm walking around on it a bit and I think that uh, it's still gonna hurt tonight, <laughs> but at least I can walk on it. Yeah, you and I, yeah, you and I, still got the vibe, no still got the vibe. Oh wow, oh it's only got half its legs, I think a bird must have got it. Man, that poor guy looks like he must have got half eaten by a seagull or something. I almost he, want to put him out of his misery. He's hurt. Yeah, he's missing a lot of his legs, bud. Yeah. He just looks like something ate, ate part of him. Let's go back to the baby one. Look, right there. Yep. <laughs> Noah. What do you know? I know. C big crabs. What about big crabs? That they had pincers, and the dead one is over there. And it's dead. And the seagull eat it. Anything else? Yeah. What? That over there in the water. And no, it's not really kind. I'm going to go down. Shells? What about shells? That some stick onto you because they've got stickiness, like uh, this shell. Snail. 
It's sticking to you because it's a snail. Can I keep it? No, we leave it here at the ocean. Uh, Tell me why we leave animals at the ocean. Because that's how they live. What would happen if we took all the animals? They would die. I like him. I'll let him on Wait, here. You gotta hold it on and wait till it comes out. You got anything else you want to tell us? Uh, nah, I'm just so saying this guy's thing. I really wanted to get some awesome shots of Morro Bay with the drone and I cannot get my phone to connect to the remote anymore. I don't know what the issue is. And DJI customer service just... Beautiful day at the beach but couldn't get any footage of it with the drone because uh, it just won't connect. I don't know what's going on. If any of you guys have any clues... I mean, th this is the same setup I was using before. Same cable, same phone. See, it's connected in some way because the battery is that on my phone is actually charging while this thing's on, so that means that it's connected in some way, but it's not connecting fully. So, I, uh, any help would be greatly appreciated. Doggy, that was, I had to stop after cleaning that. That was disgusting. Halo's cage was, ugh, the, the water with the poop in it. Oh my God. That was foul. It was wretched. It's time to open up this thing. I have been looking forward to this. Pythons of the World. The Pythons, volume three. This is a book by Dave and Tracy Barker. We showed you guys this book before. This is, in my opinion, my strong opinion. Hands down, the best book on ball pythons I've ever read. Uh, the same folks that wrote this book here that I will read and let you know, but if it's as good as that book is, I can already tell you right now, it's well worth the price. I don't remember what I paid for it, but even if it was twice that, I wouldn't have had a problem laying it down. Dave and Tracy Barker, for those of you who don't know, are of Vida Preciosa International, VPI. If you heard of VPI line boas or ball pythons or blood pythons, that's Dave and Tracy Barker. They also were the first to receive the Freedom Breeder prototype for rodent racks. And they were the ones that requested Lindy make a reptile rack in the same style. And so they were they were also kind of clutch in, in Freedom Breeder becoming a thing. And that was back in 91. And I, I really want to talk about those guys because there's a there's a, there's a lot of folks. I've, I've I've been fortunate enough to have Mr. Russo, uh, Vin Russo on Triple B TV, and of course Lindy. And there are a lot of other uh, keepers that have been out there doing it since I was in diapers, who we've been basically stepping on the shoulders of. In greatness. I'm on the big. You know, all, all these guys that put in all this work so that we can keep these species and have all the knowledge that they put in the hard work to gain and put into books so that we can we can know what's going on with them and not have to deal with all the hardship and heartache that they went through to figure out how to successfully keep these species in captivity. It's just, uh, just really cool. You know, I think it's time for a uh, Cusco Uncut. I don't know if it's really a Cusco Uncut more. I mean, I'm not gonna cut it, I guess, but it's a homework assignment for you guys. So I've been going out on social media recently and sorry, again, 
<laughs> this is gonna be the worst cut going cut ever. Oh man, Eli, I can't cut this. I'm messing up really bad. Um, I'm haggard. I'm haggard. I, if I appear haggard, it's, I am haggard. I've been sick since we went and picked up those snakes from Africa. If you didn't watch that, you should probably check that out, actually. Um, anyway, I'm still a little sick, still haggard a little bit, so bear with me. Social media, Facebook, I've just been, I've been, it's been dragging me down a little bit. I've just been like, seeing, it seems like nobody, everybody always just has to nitpick and just, Every feel like every other like 90% of the posts I've seen out there. There's always somebody just gotta Say oh you're wrong or uh, I, I, I just I don't even want to go into it here. I've got a homework assignment for you guys, okay? Go on Facebook go on Instagram go on Twitter go wherever you go where it's a big social media gathering groups find somebody's post Say something encouraging to the person on their post say say something uh, encouraging or, or if you see somebody Getting getting attacked on a post, you know, try and try and help them turn the other cheek. Whoever's doing the attacking, and you know, the, <laughs> there's no benefit to attacking somebody online. Like literally none. It's like there's literally there's no benefit to it. So your homework assignment is to do the opposite of attack people online. Go out and find somebody that needs help, or just give somebody a little praise on something that you think they did a good job on. Simple. Tag me in the post when you do it. I want to. I want to get in there and and compliment you on a co compliment you on a job well done. I gotta get out of here, guys, before this gets any worse. Eli, do you have anything you'd like to say? It's a Cusco uncut. You're a Cusco. You can uncut all you want. You can say say whatever you want, my friend. Come on, it's free reign. You make all the noise you want. Yeah. yeah? Now, now that now that I'm allowing you to. Speak and make as much noise as you want, you're gonna be dead silent. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> I'll see you soon. <laughs>